everyone. Thanks for joining me um, at the Fayette County Public Library. I'm Miss Lisa and this is Science Isn't Scary. Now our season one of Science Isn't Scary out and about is done and over with. But if you would like to be on our show next season or know somebody that would like to be on our show that does science in their everyday jobs, call me here at the library and let's talk. Now today we are going to make some fizzing eyeballs. To do this you are going to need some eyeballs. These are little ping pong balls that are eyeballs. You need some baking soda and some vinegar and some red food coloring if you want to make it super scary. So I know Halloween's coming up and you may want to do this with a bunch of kids and just spook them out. Okay, so what you're going to need is some kind of container and I have this big skull and since we are going to actually be making a chemical reaction today because these two ingredients will react and cause bubbles. Now those bubbles is what we're hoping is going to take these eyeballs Woo! right out of the skull. Okay, we're hoping that our bubbles, our reaction that we make, is going to poof these eyeballs right out and over. Now I've got this in an extra container to collect the um, overflow here as we um, make this chemical reaction. So I have here some, I have two cups of um, vinegar. I don't think I'm going to need that much. I do have a cup of baking soda. To make it a little bit more scary, I'm going to go ahead and add some red food coloring. To make it maybe it'll look a little bit like blood. Woo! And it drips everywhere. That's not good. All right, well, we'll clean that up later. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get your eyeballs in your container is put in the baking soda. So I'm going to just move these around a little bit. Okay, put in about a half a cup. That should probably be plenty, I hope. All right, and then I'm going to take my vinegar, which I didn't bring a spoon to stir that up with, but it's it's working in there. We are going to pour this in here and let's count and see how many eyeballs we can make come out of our skull. Here goes a chemical reaction. Here they come. Woo! One went over, two went over, three went over. Look at those bubbles. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, we can maybe scoop those bubbles off and find the rest of those eyeballs they're in here somewhere okay so what a cool little activity you can do with your kids um, show them how chemicals can react with one another and to create bubbles a little bit scary like a nice little halloween activity all right thanks for joining me here at um science isn't scary i'm miss lisa at the fayette county public library join me again um in two weeks for another science idea all right bye